Hey, this is Evan from Octane and Electrons. We're going to look at the new uh, Ancel BT521 battery charger. 12 volt battery charger. It does 5 amps, 3 amps, and 1 amps. So it's made for car and motorcycle size batteries. I've got this small uh, YB14 here that I need to charge out of my old uh, Suzuki GT750 uh, water buffalo. And I'm about to get that bike running again, so it's been sitting a while. So we need to charge that up, get the box out of the way. Um, comes with a nice case. I love this. I always like when the tools come with a case. It's just so much nicer than, you know, throwing them in the cabinet. Um, here's the charger. We'll look at it in a second. And it comes with instructions. And I just looked through them. This charger is really cool. It's got a lot of nice features, and it has really great instructions. So I think I know what to explain here, so I'm not going to go through those more but let's go ahead and hook it up okay I'm gonna go ahead and plug in to the wall here okay so sorry my heater's running in here it's kind of cold outside okay gonna hook up to our battery terminals here done Okay, so this thing actually has a display and menu and stuff, and that's it's really cool. I haven't seen a battery charger in this form factor with these kind of features, which I really like. Um, does eight-step charging, so it does like a, um, I'll show the chart here, the desulfate cycle, or I forget what they call it. There we go. Yeah, desulfate, soft starting, bulk charging, absorption, Analysis, repair, float, and pulse. And it has lots of different settings to, based on the uh, battery size and if it's an AGM or not, and a repair mode for each. So all those settings for car and battery. I'm sorry, <laughs> motorcycle and car batteries. Uh, so that's very cool, and it describes what happens in each of those stages. Um, so I like that. That's awesome. It also has some testing functions, which is really cool. Let's look at those first. So I don't have it in the vehicle, so I can't do a cranking or alternator test, but we'll do a battery test. So pretty easy to use menu up and down, uh, back and okay to select. Let's go to battery test. This is, I don't think it's an AGM. Yeah, seal of lead acid, 12 amp hour. No idea what the cranking amps are, we'll see. So it's a regular flooded. Cranking amps, I do not know. Yeah, it's not listed on here. That's all right, we'll guess for the test. Our results might not be accurate, but unless there's another spec I can input. I don't think this battery has any of them listed though. Yeah, it doesn't have any of those ratings. That's yeah, okay, we'll guess. I don't know, we'll say somewhere around 300. Okay. It is above zero. Well, so it's probably fairly close. 65% health. Yeah, it's probably a little under that. That's okay. Um, pretty cool though to have a full battery test feature built into the charger. I really like that. That's awesome. I do want to see, I'm going to unplug it and let's see if that function can be used off the battery itself. Okay, it can. That's very cool as well. So just connecting to the battery, not plugged into the wall, you can still get to the menu and run tests. So that's, that's awesome. That makes that useful as a portable tester as well. So we'll plug it back in. Do standard charging, motorcycle battery, normal. Right on. So great display on this. It's backlit and it tells you what step of the charging cycle it's on, percentage, voltage, current it's outputting. Really cool. Let's go back and look. Standard charging, motorcycle, normal battery and repair that'll let it run through the charge cycle and the repair cycle and you'll see the charge lights on fault should show up let's go ahead and go back to the menu 
I assume Fault will show up. This should have reverse polarity protection, so let's swap these. Let's see, so I have them swapped. Let's see if it, we'll go to quick charge this time. Yeah, there's the X, so it's telling you polarity's backwards. And Fault light, very cool. Okay, disconnect that, go back, right on. So this has some excellent features built into it. Do a quick charge, goes right into the charge cycle. And and I read that it will go into unattended mode or maintenance mode basically once it completes the cycle. So you can also use it as a float charger and maintainer. So very cool, easy to use, nice size, long cable length, has good alligator clip connections. I'm very happy with it. This is an excellent charger and I will be continuing to use this on my motorcycles and cars. So right on, thanks for checking it out. Take care.